what's up and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today's video is <laughs> Stop! I said hi! So today's video is going to be a video that my brother doesn't actually even know yet. So I'm actually gonna tell him now at the same time I'm telling you guys. <laughs> so we are going to react to period horror stories together. I don't really have any period horror stories. No, ones that my subscribers submitted. So yeah, we're gonna be doing that together because I thought this would be a really, really good idea because I do this series on my channel a lot and I thought it would be really funny to do this with my brother because he'll obviously never go through a period horror story. So what do you think? Are you excited to film this video? Yeah, I am. So actually, this part six was supposed to be up in February, but the time it's going up now is obviously April. I'm sorry for being kind of a but it's mainly just because I've been insanely busy with school mainly. So so that's why I've been like off schedule with this series because I do usually post the community tab post on the first of every month and then I usually upload the video like reading the ones that were <laughs> and then I upload the video reading the ones that were submitted by you guys all month at the end of the month That's when I post it So I'll be back on schedule like my actual schedule for the series soon probably like once school is over Probably like the first of May or the first of June I'll put out the next community tab post for part seven So just be on the lookout for that subscribe if you haven't already so you can be on the lookout for that and submit your period horror story for part seven But anyway, we are doing part six right now, and I'm very very excited to do this with my brother <laughs> doing this should be interesting i bet he's gonna be really horrified at some of these because you guys left 120 so obviously <laughs> so obviously we can't get to all of them in this video but i promise we will get to as many as we can and if you don't have yours read in this part then submit it to the next part for my community tab. Anyway, we're just gonna start reading these. All right, are we ready, Max? Yep. So it was like my second gymnastics meet of the season and it was about three hours away from my house. I had some cramps a bit before, but I thought nothing of it because I had just had my period like two weeks before. When I arrived, I decided to go to the bathroom before stretch and she was there. She meaning period. Luckily, I had a panty liner in so it didn't ruin anything, but I had no clue what to do. I wasn't allowed to wear tampons, dumb I know, and everyone would be able to see a giant pad with a leotard. I decided since it wasn't heavy to just wear a new panty liner. I then completed the competition with only that on and just had my teammate check me before I went to complete every event. It was extremely stressful, but I made it through without leaking. That was some sort of miracle because my flow is always very, very heavy. Imagine going to play baseball and you just have blood gushing out of you and you can't play normally. Yeah, that would be weird. I had PE on Thursday like three months ago and randomly it got so heavy that I just started leaking. Everyone made fun of me so I was kind of paranoid but at the end of the day I was like people will forget about it. It didn't end there. I came back the next day seeing pictures of me on the wall with blood going down my pants. I was horrified. I asked my friend if she knew who it was. She didn't. I was still on my period that day and I didn't want to wear black pants to let the boys know I was on it. So I wore light purple ones. I was fully prepared and thank goodness I didn't leak but I was sitting in my chair the whole day and was paranoid. Okay, that's... <laughs> I was on a road trip with my whole family, my mom, my dad, my older brother, and my younger brother, and we needed to stop at a gas station for snacks and bathroom breaks, you know, like how people usually do on road trips. It was going pretty normal. I decided not to change my pad because it didn't have that much on it, and I went outside. My older brother got Mountain Dew and got back into the car. About like one after after we had stopped, we hit a bump. I felt it, and my older brother's Mountain Dew spilled on my pants. We pulled over, and my dad told me to change my pants in the car because we were too far away from another rest stop. I obviously didn't want to because I knew I had leaked. My brother kept saying stuff like come on it doesn't matter or it's not like we're gonna ask you to take off your underwear or anything and I was like about to cry before I could do anything the Mountain Dew soaked the pad and the blood started trickling down my legs because the pad had stopped absorbing it my little brother screamed and said oh my god she's bleeding everyone had to get out of the car to let me change and now my older brother makes fun of me for that moment to this day overall worst day of my life I gotta say I I think that would be kind of scary I would never do that though I would never put her in shame Staring contest with Curry. the camera. Okay, so this is my period horror slash first tampon story. About three to four weeks ago, I was eight days late for my period. I was very happy because my mom had just signed me up for swimming classes for the next day. So I was glad that I didn't have to wear a tampon or anything. That night, I started scrolling through YouTube and I saw a video for swimming on your period. And of course, I didn't watch it because I didn't think my period was going to come. Fast forward to 6 a.m. the day of my swimming class, I started getting really bad cramps and I tried to get up. Yeah, you know what happened. So I sat back down and just stayed there for like two hours in a puddle of blood, not knowing what to do. I told my mom immediately once she woke up and she went and got me some tampons. It took a while to put in, but I had to rush because class started at 12. I ended up not putting it in correctly so I could feel it when I sat down. Anyway, eventually I couldn't feel it anymore. I didn't leak and tampons aren't actually as scary as you might think. <laughs> he hates swimming already. He doesn't really like the water much. So I don't I like water at all. Except this water. <laughs> 
So imagine being in the pool with that. Well, first everyone would probably know because if there was just a tiny drop, the whole pool would turn red. That's but not how it works. Don't ask me. We were on vacation and about to go on a five kilometer hike. The morning before the hike, I was feeling dizzy and my stomach was a little bit sore, but I didn't think much of it. We had arrived at the place we were going to hike and I went to the bathroom before we started. I was on the toilet and I looked down and I saw blood. The toilets? The toilets were dropped toilets, so they obviously didn't have any period product dispensers. I was too scared to ask my mom for a pad and tell her that I had started my period, so I decided to wrap toilet paper around my underwear. Big mistake. By the way, this toilet paper was so bad and it was so thin obviously because we were in the middle of nowhere We were halfway through the hike and I was having the worst cramps that I started crying My mom asked me what was wrong and all the words just came flooding out of my mouth I explained to her that I had gotten my period and she said we can get some products on the way back to the vacation house We were staying in we had finished the hike and I felt wet down there I didn't have time to go to the toilet So I had to sit in blood in the car for 45 minutes when I got out of the car to go to the shop I noticed that I had stained the leather car seat and I covered it up with my jumper. It was all fine after that. Mom cleaned it up and we got the supplies, but that had to be the worst experience of my life. Wouldn't be my worst experience, but uh, you've never been in that kind of experience before. I know my worst experience was my cuts. Yeah, he once had to get stitches like on the side of his face. You can't see it anymore though. No, I'm just saying that would be the worst second. <laughs> My story happened my second day of freshman year, aka this year I had just changed my pad like 30 minutes prior to when this happened. My friends and I were sitting in a hallway on the floor which was white. I didn't realize I bled through my jeans, brand new. <laughs> Until after I stood up from the floor and saw a big puddle of blood and the worst part was that there was a big group of boys behind us And I heard one of them clearly say omg one of the girls in that group is bleeding. I think she's dying Can you pledge to never be the kind of guy that makes fun of a girl if they go through a period horror story? Yeah, totally. I would never do that. Yeah, right answer I was with my boyfriend and blood through onto his white couch He said that it was not normal at all. He doesn't want to date someone with a strange medical condition I explained the whole situation and he said he would never date a girl because of this That boy is disgusting. You know what? It's the bar of life! I went to rowing training at 8 a.m. on a cold Saturday morning and I live in the UK so it's really cold here in the winter. Anyways, I was on my period and didn't feel very well. I got through the training and then went to my car with my mom. We had to wait for my brother to do his rowing session for another two hours. I felt really unwell and due to the cold my body was under more stress. I had to go to the bathroom lots of times, if you know, you know. <laughs> well, anyway, I went to the bathroom and I needed to go fast. There was a queue in the store of three people. I was dying not only of period cramps which were super intense but also from needing to go to the bathroom. I was feeling extremely faint and had lost most of my vision so I stumbled into the bathroom and collapsed on the toilet and stayed there for about 10 minutes. When I finally felt less faint, I got up to go, but as I was leaving the store, I collapsed onto a bench with extreme pain and faintness. I was crying audibly at this point. I asked this woman for her phone to call my mom. I stupidly forgot my phone and left it in the car, but she said no. I was weeping now and this really nice guy came up to me and asked what's wrong and he let me borrow his phone. So I called my mom and she came and got me. I have other medical issues, so there were lots of things that made my body under pressure. I now have prescribed acid tablets to calm period pain. Moral of the story, periods suck. Well, I just think that that's um, a horror story, definitely. So that works on there. <laughs> uh, that is crazy. I could not imagine that. Fainting on a bench, though, that's unusual. <laughs> I was out shopping at Walmart with my mom and my period had just ended or so I thought the day before. My last period was weird and it went away for a day then came back the next. I figured it was just because I drank a lot of milk that morning it makes my period heavier for some reason. I was wrong. I suddenly felt weird down there and kept begging my mom to go faster because I really didn't want to stain my favorite yellow pants. I had already bled through which I realized when I sat down in the car. It ended up washing out but it was still terrifying. Moral of the story, don't trust your period. I kind of agree with that but sometimes periods are on time. It's different for everybody. Yeah, except a lot of the time they surprise you. So I woke up to my period on a Friday. I decided to be a little risky and wear jeans to school. I normally wear black leggings and an oversized sweatshirt on my period so I was trying something new. I had a feeling that I was gonna leak so I tied a green zip up around my waist just to be safe. My school day was going fine until the last class of the day. I could literally feel the blood leaking and I couldn't change my pad. I wasn't worried though because I had the zip up on. I went on the bus and at that point I knew the blood was gonna be everywhere. As I got up to get off the bus I saw blood on the seat. My zip up also wasn't covering my butt all the way so I'm sure some people saw the stage so I got off the bus with blood on my seat and my favorite and only pair of jeans were ruined. How many pairs of jeans do you think periods have like ruined around the world? Probably about one each or two each so that's about like... Two million? I would say more but yeah. What? Oh my god. When I was trying on jeans at a store, I got my period and blood going on the jeans. I tried to rush out of the dressing room to put them back, but right away a girl asked me if she could try them on. I handed them off to her and got out of the store as fast as I could. 
<laughs> okay, but like imagine if then she like saw the blood on the jeans and thought she got her period, but she actually did. <laughs> So I'd had a really heavy period that day. Bearing in mind, it was only day three of my first ever period, so I didn't expect it to get that heavy fast. So that day was kind of traumatic for me. I went to the bathroom and I have no idea how, but I managed to get blood on the floor and I cleaned it all up, or maybe I thought so. Then at lunch, I went again and got blood on the floor, like what the heck, or just that time, I don't even know. My friend used the bathroom about 10 minutes after me and said there was blood on the floor. I don't know if it was- Interruption. <laughs> I don't know if it was mine, but I just died of embarrassment for the rest of the day silently praying it wasn't my blood. Pray for me in the floor, RIP. Me and my family were on a road trip to New Jersey. It was my first period, but since you and my mom taught me a lot about it, I was okay. Along half of the trip, we stopped at McDonald's. There I used the bathroom, but then realized I needed to change my pad. So my mom left to get my pad, and she left me there with my dad. He was outside the bathroom, of course. When I took off my pad, blood leaked everywhere. Then I called my dad crying, and he got my mom. She helped me clean it up, but when I was looking for my pad, I realized I had none. So then I had to use two liners. Do you realize that when you're on your period, a liner is like a piece of paper, and it will just leak right through? Um. I don't know what to say. So I got my period on a day our power was out and I had really bad cramps But I had no power to use a heating pad or microwave anything that could be warmed up to help that day I was supposed to babysit this little girl So I packed up a little bag with a couple pads in my heating pad because that family had power So once I got settled in with the baby I plugged in the heating pad and felt a little better a few hours and I needed to change my pad So I grabbed one and went into the bathroom I told the baby not to get into the bag and I went into the bathroom when I came up the baby had opened all my pads Stuck some of them to the wall and stuck one in her hair. So I was stuck with a baby and no pad for the rest of the day. <laughs> Okay, so anyway, I was in third period at school, but it was a half day, so we didn't have much of the day left. I wasn't expecting to get my period because I wasn't supposed to get it for another five days. I felt something, but just assumed it was discharge. Haha, <laughs> wrong. There was literally so much, so I went to the bathroom just to make sure. I go into the stall, and there was blood all over. <laughs> <laughs> I was wearing dark jeans, though, so it didn't show, but I didn't bring a pad to the bathroom. My flow was so heavy, so I just got some toilet paper and used it as a pad. When I got back to class, I realized that I didn't use enough toilet paper. I told one of my friends who has her period, and she was begging me to go back to the bathroom. But when me and my friend were talking, Talking about this and my guy friend walked by and heard us talking about periods he literally just ran away and said ew i then told him that periods are not gross and that he can't handle it for a day lol but anyway i went to the bathroom with a pad and my teacher was super chill with it it was a girl and i guess she got the memo what's with the guy just running like imagine the emoji running <laughs> Bye. So this was in June and it was probably the worst thing that's ever happened to me I thought I had finished my period because mine usually lasts five days and this was the sixth day But it hadn't actually finished that day My school was taking my class on a walk on a hill with no bathroom and I thought it would be fine I went to the bathroom before we left and everything was fine So I didn't bring anything with me I was having lots of fun rolling down hills with my friends and everything was fine until I felt it I spent the rest of the trip sitting on a bench So nothing else would come out and to make it worse My parents had to work late so I had to stay at my friends for dinner So I couldn't change my underwear and I had forgotten my bag with everything in it at school <laughs> okay, so I'm quite new to periods, but like last month I was on a train on my way to some conference with my school And I had my brand new white Urban Outfitters bag with me and the train was quite busy So I sat on it to keep it safe and I was sitting on it for like half an hour I know exactly where this is going and I was on the aisle seat and my friend was on the window seat So I got up so she could go to the toilet and when I stood up my bag and the light blue were soaked with blood I was so embarrassed and I had to go tell my teacher who told someone who worked on the train and my parents had to pay 50 to get the seat cleaned <laughs> First, just a little idea to make the bag better. Maybe just completely darkened in red. Then it'll be red. <laughs> like completely painted in red. Mm -hmm. That's actually a really good idea. Okay, so when I was in seventh grade, I had just gotten my period and I was so excited to go to school the next day and show my BFF. Well, when I told her, we were both so excited and also she had already had hers and showed me how to use pads. But the next day I had no school due to snow, yay. And I wore a pair of light purple sweatpants know where this is going because the day before me flow was light big mistake later i went outside to play in the snow but i wore another pair of pants on top to stay warm and i felt something wet i ignored it and just thought it was melted snow big mistake 30 minutes later i had went inside and took off all my warm clothes and i had legit blood from my period coming down my light purple sweatpants on my light purple sweatpants and onto the floor when i went to the bathroom by the way in a regular pad my pad looked like a murder scene do you know what a murder scene probably looks like can you like picture that red all over the floor <laughs> yeah like that i ruined my favorite pair of sweatpants and kind of stayed in my toilet seat <laughs> How can you stain something that's meant for this? That's actually a very good question. But it broke and we had to buy a new one and out of this day I never underestimate my flow and never play in the snow, JK LOL. Do you see how hard it is to be a girl, Max? Yeah, but there's some hard bars for a boy too. Like Well, there they so I was in the sixth grade.
grade and I had to give a speech in my social studies class and I thought my period was over so I stupidly wore white jeans. <laughs> Like the worst color for your period. Yeah, and as I started to talk my best friend walked up to me and said your pants are red And I also stupidly didn't watch my language and not only cursed in front of the teacher But one of the stupid boys in my class realized and yelled it out to the whole class and I got so embarrassed I walked out and felt like I was gonna get sick and I didn't make it to the bathroom and threw up Right in front of the janitor and immediately went to the nurse and luckily my mom was working from home So she picked me up and not only was I super embarrassed, but I also got a zero on the assessment since I walked out Oh my god, that is the worst horror story I've ever seen but it's over. <laughs> my embarrassing period story was when I was in the Mamma Mia summer musical performance last year and I unfortunately had my period during performances and I had to wear a white dress as a costume for money money scene and my period leaked during that scene and I got it on my dress all over. My friends helped change out of the costume and the director was nice and felt bad after and the show went on but still embarrassing. Luckily the only time I had to wear the white costume was during money 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 and the rest of the costumes were colorful and not white. <laughs> Bad luck because you should have worn the other ones that were colorful. Of course you were the one in the white dress when you were on your period. That sucks. Because the guy was nice. Yeah, that's who. Well, it all started on the worst year, 2020. <laughs> April 14th, 2020. I'll with that. I'll go to that. April 14th, 2020, during the pandemic, I had stomach pain all day, but I just ignored it and gone on with my day. Then I was sitting down at my desk playing Roblox with a friend on call. The I bathroom. love Roblox. You play Roblox? Yeah, it's a video game. I don't know what Roblox is. Roblox is like a square video game where all people are square. Like Roblox. It's fun. I wish I knew what like was going on with trends. You know Minecraft? Yeah, but I don't It's basically play it. like that. The kind of people, like square, square bodies. Like I can't Roblox believe you play that and I didn't know that. <laughs> <laughs> Roblox, Roblox, Roblox. <laughs> I get it, I've seen stuff on TikTok. I got up and went to the bathroom and saw it. I was screaming because at the time I was 10 and my parents hadn't told me about periods. I ran into my mom and she was taking a nap. I actually thought I would have had to go to the hospital, but then my mom explained to me about it. It was so embarrassing. <laughs> okay, that's fine. And the last period horror story that I'm going to read with my brother will react to together is... Okay, so hi, it's not mine, it's my sister's because I haven't gotten mine yet, but my sister, me, and my cousin, who is two years older than my sister, were at my dad's hunting cabin, and it's all boys there, and my sister said, let's play hide and seek. I was only like eight, so I said okay, and we decided bathrooms are off limits, and they were in the bathroom, and my cousin had to help my sister because it was my sister's first ever period. It was bad, <laughs> And then at the time, I didn't know what happened. I was like, you're so mean, how dare you hide in the bathroom? That's actually really funny that she like got it during hide and seek and said bathrooms were off limits. <laughs> Do you get it? They said like you're not allowed to hide in the bathroom, but then they had to go to the bathroom because she got her first period. Oh my god. Well, first one thing, never play hide and seek when you're kind of around the age. I mean, you can play hide and seek, but just don't say bathrooms off limits every time. That's actually a very good tip. Never ever say that bathrooms are off limits with any game when you are around that age. Very good piece of advice from my brother. <laughs> anyway, guys, that is it for this video. Thank you so, so, so much for watching it, and I hope you enjoyed. We will do this again in the future if you want us to, because, like, I don't know if you want to see this, like, every time with my little brother. If you do, just, you know, let me know what you thought of this video. Please subscribe subscribe to my YouTube channel to see more of this series and, and more. Can I interrupt? Also, I was gonna say, I have my own YouTube channel called Tappy Center. Yes! And we are starting to post new videos. I swear this time. We're <laughs> starting to do new videos. So, please like and subscribe to... I will link his channel down Tappy below. Channel. Please go subscribe. He posts a lot of cute, like, kid therapist videos where he gives advice. It's so, so cute. And you guys should definitely go subscribe if you like to see him on my channel and stuff like that. And yeah, as I said, also subscribe to my channel to see more of this series and also so that you get notified like whenever if you turn post notifications on when I upload my community tab post so that you guys can submit your stories for part seven so be on the lookout for that community tab post coming in the next couple months when I get a little less busy with school school has been really busy for me he can vouch for that oh uh, yeah <laughs> so yeah before you leave please like this video and what should they comment down below that's like related to period horror stories if they made it to the end of this video comment down horror yeah okay comment down below just horror if you made it to the end of this video because periods do bring a lot of horror like literally what do you think about that do they some do some don't most of them do <laughs> Also, please subscribe to my YouTube channel for more period related videos And I've also done like a lot of other videos with my brother in the past I'll link those down below and I will also link down below all the other parts of the series parts one two three four and five And yeah, that is it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching it and I love you guys Bye, Bye. <laughs>